and this is How to Train Your Caterpillar, a spiritual life coaching channel. You are very welcome here. Thank you for uh, checking out the video and the channel. I appreciate it a lot. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me at any point, I would appreciate that a lot as well. Uh, so this video is going to be about how to cheat at meditation because you can cheat and make it easier, right? Because uh, I've been speaking to a few people through like life coaching sessions and tarot sessions that are like, oh, I really want to meditate, but I find it hard to actually sit down and do it. And I feel you. <laughs> I'm the same, you know. I'm much better at it now because I employ these techniques that I'm about to show you. But I used to really, really struggle with meditation, but I love it now. Um, and it's basically because of what I'm about to uh, share with you, okay? I should also say that these are not actually my techniques. I read about these in a book uh, about morphic fields that I was reading. Um, I can't remember who wrote the book, but I'll look it up and I'll leave it in the description box in case you want to check it out yourself. Um, but these are where I learned these meditation techniques. So, the first one is to listen to alpha waves, alpha brainwave frequencies in the background, okay? Now let me explain, okay, let me just explain before, before people jump in and start being like, the brain can't hear alpha waves, I'm, I'll get to that, okay? <laughs> uh, so basically, what you want to do for your meditation is, the whole point of meditating is really to get your brain into an alpha state, okay? Um, so you have five different brain waves, as I'm sure you know. You have five different brain wave states that the brain can be in, okay? The lowest is delta, which is associated with uh, very deep sleep, like REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, and hypnosis. Then you have theta, then you have delta, then you have beta, and then you have gamma, okay? So what you're looking for for a daily meditation is alpha, because this is a relaxed state, you can call it the flow state, you can call it being in the zone. This is what you want to achieve for a daily meditation um, because it's going to relax you enough that you can actually sit there for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or however long you're going to try for. Okay? I recommend if you've just started meditating, I recommend going for 5 minutes to start with because it is better to do 5 minutes of meditation per day than an hour one day a week, okay? The, the action of making space in your routine for five minutes of meditation, like when you wake up or when you go to bed, um, that's what you want to start with, okay? And then you can increase it to 10 or 15 minutes. And honestly, with these techniques I'm going to give you, you're probably going to want to stay longer than five minutes, because I do. And you know, that's saying a lot, because I, I'm quite twitchy. <laughs> like, it takes a lot for me to sit still. So, um, yeah, you want to get your brain into an alpha wave state, okay? See, this is the relaxed state as well, okay? Because I've also spoken to a few people that say, like, but I do meditate and I never get messages through, you know? Like, I'm looking for an answer to something or I'm looking for messages from spirit to come through and then I meditate and I try really hard, you know, and I really try and clear my brain and nothing comes through. And then they'll say, like, then I'll get up and I'll go and take a shower or I'll go for a walk or I'll clean the house or, like, I'll do some yoga or, you know, some kind of hobby or activity that gets you in the flow state when you're kind of in the zone. And that's when the messages come through and the inspiration comes through because that's when you're in the alpha state. So a really easy way to get yourself into this state so that you can meditate is to listen to uh, a sound frequency um, that's going to get your brain into that state, okay? So I'm going to leave two below in the description box or something below that you can try out, okay? Um, you know, read the warnings associated with them and all that kind of stuff, okay? But um, that's uh, something that's really, really going to help you with meditation, okay? And let's address this other thing, okay? Because um, alpha brain waves Okay, the brain waves are measured in hertz, okay, which means cycles per second. That's all that means. So alpha is, I think it's like 8 to 12 or 9 to 12, something like this. The human brain, I think the adult human brain can hear up to like 18 hertz or 15 hertz. It's something like this, okay? 
So if someone was to play you a frequency of 10 hertz, for example, your brain wouldn't hear it. But there's ways around that, okay? We can use binaural beats and we can use also something called harmonics in order to get around that, which you can look up what these things are um, if you want to do that. But the ones that I've left below are binaural beats because honestly, you're going to struggle to find harmonics on YouTube these days. It's not very, like they're pretty rare, you know? Um, but binaural beats and harmonics are ways of tricking your brain <laughs> into hearing the 10 hertz. Okay, so it achieves the same state. So that's number one, okay? And number two is breath work. Because it gives your brain something to focus on. So the combination of listening to the alpha waves in the background and giving your brain something to focus on rather than just, you know, staring into space. Because honestly, number one, that's kind of boring. Like sometimes I get distracted when if I just sit down to try and meditate and I'm just staring into space and not really focusing on my breath, I can get kind of bored and then my mind starts to wander. Whereas if I'm doing the breath work, it gives me something to focus on. And then, you know, I find like 10 minutes have passed before I even know it, right? So the breath work that I use is in for four, hold for four, and then out for four. So in through your nose for four, hold for four, and then out through your nose for four. Take a couple of deep breaths before you start so you can regulate your breathing and then just get into the four, four, four. And that's it, it's that simple. But that is the meditation techniques that actually finally allowed me to be able to meditate. Because I have tried everything over the years and you know, different things work for different people but that's, that's really what helped me, okay? The other thing is, I'm going to make a different video about this because I don't want this to be too long, okay? But I know some people like initially struggle with the actual discipline of wanting to meditate, okay? Which is really a different issue. Like if you're wanting to meditate already, but you're just finding it difficult to actually sit, then this is what's going to help you, okay? But if you're finding it like in the general, you just kind of lack discipline, that's really a solar plexus issue, okay? Which is, again, something I struggle with myself. That's why I know how to fix it. Uh, so I'm gonna make a separate video about that, okay? Like, tomorrow. I'll do it soon, <laughs> okay? So that's the video. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Um, enjoy your meditations. Thank you so much for watching the video. I am taking uh, spiritual life coaching sessions and personal tarot readings if you want to know more about that the information will be in the description box. So take care uh, and as always I wish you many blessings, love and light.